The Red Lake boys basketball team is hoping the third time is their charm in their quest to win the state championship. Uh, the team's third trip in a row to state got off to a great start today. The Warriors will advance to the semifinals after beating Browerville Eagle Valley 66 to 52. But it was out of deep sadness that their season began. As Bill Hudson explains, when a rare cancer took the life of the coach's son, it also inspired players to push that much harder. Judging by all the red packed into Williams Arena today, Red Lake is surely a ghost town. With their Warrior boys making yet another trip to state, fans have good reason to cheer. Just so proud, just so proud of these young boys. They work so hard and it's showing. But it's a season that began with intense sadness. Coach Roger White's son, Aaron, an inspiring player and teammate, lost his battle to cancer November 1st. It was really tough for me at the beginning. I didn't know if I wanted to coach this year without my son. Roger persevered for his players, and they dedicated their season to his son. Players feel his presence with every slam dunk, every three-pointer. Senior forward Jeremy Martin. This is all for our little brother Aaron. He'd be so happy for us coming out here, giving it all or all, and just pushing it and not giving it up, playing through everything. From opening tip-off to the final buzzer, the Warriors dominated play, all the while thinking of the teammate, the friend, the son, no longer on the court. He's always in our thoughts. We always remember the good moments, the funny moments, and he was just a great basketball player, a good family member, and a great friend. A quarterfinal game they won by 12, but in the tougher game of life, these boys are forever winners, forging a bond that keeps a grieving father going. For me, you know, I kind of just latched on to help me get through it because, it, you know, it, it's, it's tough. Uh, Coach White says his players kept loose on the bus ride down to the Twin Cities by telling some funny, often tearful stories about his son.